In this video, I am going to show you how to completely delete WooCommerce and then reinstall it on your WordPress site manually. Before starting this process, I strongly recommend you do a backup of your site data, especially the WooCommerce data like products, orders, customers, and so on. Now let's get started with the detailed process. The first step is clearing all WooCommerce data. From the dashboard, just go to WooCommerce, then Products. Here, you can see a list of products on your WooCommerce store. You can easily delete all them by checking the box in the first row. Select Move to Trash option from the drop-down sections of the bulk action. And then apply the action to finish it. If you have so many products, you can make a little setting to save your time. Heading to the screen options at the top right of your screen, change the number of product per page as you want. There are 80 products left in my store, so I will put the number as 80. After that, you can delete products in bulk as you do before. By clicking on the bulk action button, choose move to trash. Then apply the action. Now, I've removed all 100 products in my WooCommerce store. Remember to remove all products in the trash to delete them eternally. The next step is to delete all categories. This process is the same as the way of deleting products. Take the box on the first row of the categories list, hitting the bulk actions, then select the delete option and then apply the action to finish it. Repeat the process until all categories are removed. However, there will be a category you cannot remove. It is the default setting of WordPress site. The next action is to remove all tags and orders. These processes are the same with the way you remove products and categories. Now, I am removing all coupons. Navigating to coupon under the WooCommerce section. There is no coupons in here, so I can pass this process. After that, you need to go to status under the WooCommerce section. Click on the tool tab and clear the WooCommerce transients and the expired transients. Let's see. They are removed from my site. Next, head to the Logs tab, and delete the log. The following step is deleting all users. Just go to Users from the menu dashboard, select All Users and delete in bulk. After removing all sub-users, you should choose to move all content owned by them to the admin account so that the default control will be kept by the admin. Click on Confirm Deletion to complete this step. Please remember that the admin who created the site will not be removed. The next step is entirely uninstalling WooCommerce from your WordPress site by adding a line of code in your WordPress config PHP file. Here, we use the plugin WordPress File Manager. If it hasn't existed on your site, you need to install and activate it. Go to the plugin settings. Find the WordPress config PHP file. Right click on it and choose edit to edit the file. Looking for the line of code, that's all. Stop editing. Happy publishing. Then paste this code above it. Once you finish, 
hit the save and close button to update your change. After that, you can delete WooCommerce from the dashboard as you do with other plugins. Then go to the WordPress config PHP file and remove the code you have added before. The next step is to check the WooCommerce database and delete the WooCommerce table left in your database. If you do not know how to get access to the PHP My Admin from cPanel, you should use the plugin, Advanced Database Cleaner, to make this process simpler. Just installing and activating the plugin on your site. Go to WordPress Database Cleaner. Head to the Tables tab. Check the WooCommerce table. As you can see here, there are a lot of files. Just find and select the WooCommerce files you want to remove. And click Delete from the drop down options, then apply the action. Here, there will be a notification that warns you that the database will be removed completely and forever. And you should make a backup of your database first. That's it. I've finished the process of uninstalling WooCommerce completely from the WordPress site. Finally, you can reinstall the WooCommerce plugin on your site again and complete the resetting process.